In this video, I want to demonstrate how I would chart the X, Y, and Z coordinates of all the points my tool should travel along. So as we looked at earlier, one of the first machining operations for this part will be to take an end mill, round off these corners here, and clean up this side. To do that, there are essentially four points of geometry I have to calculate. And when I do this, my tool will start somewhere down here. So I'm going to chart all this out to make it easier to program under the position. I'm going to put start. And I don't know its X, Y, or Z coordinate yet, other than I would like the tool to be above the part when it starts. So it should be up here. Here's our view. Here's our Z0. And our X and Y0 is here. So what I do know at the start position, it'll probably be... 100 thou above. I don't know the X and Y coordinates yet and we're going to leave the G code field blank as well. Then I'm going to move from wherever my start position is to position 1 which is right here where this arc starts. So where this radius meets this lower line. So let's do the easy coordinate first. Its Y position is right here. If I were working in metric it'd be negative 38 mil and in inch it's negative 1.496. So my y coordinate is negative 1.496. The z value, well, when I cut this corner, the tool should be at the bottom of the part. So that's negative 0.394. So I'll enter negative 0.394. And now I want to calculate the x coordinate of that. So let's open up the calculator and let's look at what we know. So here's our x0 and the part length is 1.4. 969. So 1.969 would put me over here at position 2. And that's in the x positive. So I'm going to enter that now. So I'll come down here and say position 2. I know the x is 1.969 because I'm just plotting the exact part geometry coordinates. So to get from position 2 to 1, we'll move this a little bit, we need to go back towards the x0 the radius of the part, 0.197. So from 1.969, I'm going to minus the part radius of 0.197, and that gives me 1.772. So that's my x coordinate of position one. I'll enter 1.772. So next, I'll continue to calculate the rest of position two. I do know what z will be the same as position one, as will 3 and 4. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enter negative 0.394 in all of these Z fields. And to help me out, I'm also going to say, okay, I'll go from position 1 to 2. Then the tool will go to 3. And next it'll go to 4. And that'll be it for cleaning up these two rads and this side. So after 4, it'll come somewhere off the part. And I'm just going to call that the end position. So I'll enter end. I'll enter 0 0.394. And I need to calculate the remaining coordinates here. So let's look at what we know already. When we start, we're at x 1.772. Well, that's the same x for position 4 because it's the same radius. So for position 4, we can enter 1.772 under the x field. And what else do we know that's the same? Well, at position 3 and 2, the x's are the same. So for position 3, I can enter the same x as position 2, 1.969. So now I need to calculate all my y's. Again, let's take the easy one. When I'm at position 4, I'm right here at y0. So I'll come down to position 4 and I'll enter 0. Then if we work backwards to position 3, well, this is a full 90 degree arc. So it's going to be negative in the y, the part radius. So position 3 will be negative 0 0.197. And at position 2, I'll just get the calculator back and I'll clear it. From position 1, which is negative 1.496, we're going to go in the positive y, the radius. So I'm going to add 0.197. So at position 2, my y is negative 1.299.
we'll minimize this. So I've calculated the x, y, and z coordinates of the four points along my part geometry that I'll need to code when I create the G and M code. And in the next video, we'll work through another sample of calculating the part geometry coordinates.